Hello, everyone. Welcome to Contributor Mentorship, how to start contributing to WordPress core. I hope you will enjoy this. So let's start. Firstly, a bit about me. I'm a WordPress developer and with background in marketing, a core triage core lead for 6.3 and 6.4 releases, a maintainer of two components and front editor. writer. I didn't publish anything yet, but uh, I have like a lot of uh, content in draft and uh, this has become a big part of my life. So I, I think that I am already a front editor. writer. And you can find me in WordPress news in 2021, I think. And uh, you can find a lot of more interesting people there. So check it. What we will discuss today. Uh, firstly, release schedule. I will uh, talk about why it's important a bit a bit later. It will be very clear. Different ways to contribute to WordPress core, how to use track and search for suitable tickets, uh, how to collaborate with other contributors and what to expect but firstly, what is here for you? Why it's actually worth doing? Firstly, ability to make a difference. Uh, you can imagine uh, WordPress is used by millions and millions sites. It's also a learning opportunity because uh, when you are working on such large scale, you um, make things uh, which are supposed to be compatible uh, according to coding standards and a lot of other uh, things you need to know and keep in mind and you will learn them in a process. Uh, no one is knows everything at once and uh, you can collaborate with people, share ideas, look what other people are doing and this is the beauty of open source because what people are doing is actually open and accessible and you can watch and uh, learn and make some your own ideas from what you learn from other people. And also you can try new things. If you are, for example, working with front end on your main job, you can try back end or otherwise, or you try to mm, make unit tests if you didn't do it before. So there's all, always some poss possibilities to try something new or to watch from some other perspective, the same things. This is a safe environment. Uh, all people who are working with WordPress, who are in a, our community are passionate about WordPress. And because uh, people are, um, working from all over, over the world, uh, we are embracing all this um, differentiate, differentiation between people and uh, it's become a common knowledge that we all are different, but in general, we all people and it's what's matter and uh, we all contributors. It means that all uh, you don't have to do something. It's your own free will and it's your own choice. And everyone is respecting uh, everyone else's time and impact and uh, efforts, etc. So here is lovely people. And why uh, this is why a lot of people are staying and um, in this community and contribute in the first, first place because we all are friends and we are staying for each other and support each other. And uh, this is much more than just contribution to some product itself. And of course, you can have a very, very big plus to your resume because if you didn't do something before and you done it for WordPress, you can prove it, you can share it, you can show it to everyone else. 
And I think there's some much more abilities. Uh, if you are working in some company, you will be only sticking to your own um, job description and will not be able to participate in um, other activities. Here, we have um, a lot of possibilities for you to poke around and to share your opinion, to make suggestions. So this is the beauty of uh, open source project. We can do, for example, marketing, no matter if we are marketers or not. If you have an idea, you can share it, promote it, co collect opinions from other people's and uh, actually it make work. So it does not matter what is your background. Do you have a degree or not? If you have a, an idea, it can work and be practicable, uh, practically applicable. So let's start with release schedule. Why it's matter? Because uh, we, uh, we are staying with release schedule and it's plan ahead uh, for the like for a year. And uh, there are some milestones uh, inside milestone and we need to stick uh, with them. For example, right now, uh, right now we have only dry run planned. Possibly there will be like one more release, I think, if we will have uh, uh, some tickets committed before dry run. But uh, right now it's almost done. Version is almost complete. And uh, if you expected some ticket of yours to be merged, uh, to be committed into trunk, there's no go <laughs> into this current version. And um, right now, if you are working on something, it's quite um, achievable to make it work uh, and be live for the next uh, 6.4 um, version. Because right now we can work on enhancements, futures, uh, strings with translations, descriptions, uh, everything is right now possible before beta one. When beta one will be released, we will not be working on enhancements and futures anymore. We can work on them, but only for the next release. And from beta one, we only be able to commit bug fixes. So if you are working on some bug fix, uh, you can work, con continue to work and expect it to be uh, in the uh, next version until release candidate one. If uh, there is release candidate one, we are stop working on bugs almost if uh, and there is also hard string freeze what this means it means that all content all these strings which needs to be translated are freezed we are not accepting anything else anymore with small exceptions but uh, strings for translations are done at this to this moment and you need to like keep it in mind because uh, Polyglots need time to translate these strings before the release. And I think uh, 45, uh, around 45 uh, lo locals are doing this before the release. So um, this time needs for them uh, to translate uh, these strings because it's really annoying for uh, polyglots when they translated some strings and they um, become fuzzy because something changed. So they need like double their work and it's not fair for them. So this is why uh, we have hard string freeze. And if your ticket has some strings change, there's no go for this uh, ticket. And from release candidate one, we only working on some regressions and some things which should be in release uh, like very, mm, very urgent. So some exceptions, some regressions, we are fixing bugs which appears 
uh, in this new version. So if a bug appears in new version, it needs to be tackled as soon as possible. Uh, this is the key point. And this is why we have like release candidate one, release candidate two, etc. And dry run uh, means that everything is already done and we are just preparing uh, to <clears throat> make big appearance, big release. Uh, but if uh, some things changed before dry run, we will have like another dry run. So sometimes uh, we have like a bit shift in uh, schedule because uh, some additional changes. And we have a release party. And the next release party will be next Tuesday, I think. And it will be 6.3 launch. Everyone is welcome to join. And it's really amazing thing. We love emojis. We all love emojis. And uh, we have like a lot of steps to proceed. Um, so, um, but people are like keeping excited. And we also need something to do. We have something um, to be done. Uh, it's uh, checks because I think uh, once I saw that a uh, package went wrong and it was uh, need, needs to be it was uh, need to be repacked but most uh, most times uh, it's fine still it's worth to check because of impact what we are making and having like you see uh, in each uh, release we are like collecting numbers uh, for previous release this uh, data is publicly acceptable there is a page with this counter. So 91 million downloads. You can imagine this impact. This is why it's worth checking, even if everything should work fine. And uh, also, uh, we, um, each time we have some ad ad additional inf information, like musician name and uh, co content uh, for the about this release it's uh, it has like a lot of work behind this uh, content to assemble everything and also also about release if you want to see your name on the release page and uh, have a batch of uh, core core contributor it will only happen when credits api will be updated so it's happening after uh, official launch so if you are like very wanted to see batch in your profile you need to wait until the release party if you contributed to this release or if you will contribute to the next release you will have this batch but after release party <laughs> It's almost uh, like an hour, I think, matter possibly too, but it still needs to be done. And it's not appears by magic, it's appears by commit as well. Let's talk about different ways to contribute. You don't have to be a developer to contribute to core. Of course, if you are a developer, you can contribute in much more uh, ways than if you don't, but still there's option for everyone to be uh, involved and get started. And if you are not a developer, but you think you can try it, you can make like it slow and start with uh, contribute with something which don't need to uh, have development uh, skills in the first place. And all contributions matter and can't um, Sometimes um, you can change um, wrong letter in a word, for example. Something for make, make a mis uh, some, someone made a mistake, you spotted it and fix it. It's also a contribution because uh, if we are working on such large scale, everything should be fine. But it's sometimes it's tricky and it uh, can be easily overlooked. And also 
if you try something, for example, you made a patch, but it didn't work for some reason, it's also can't because you found some way which can be like left behind and everyone can go further to explore other possibilities. We have a lot of tickets, but uh, we have them because it's not easy a lot of times to find a right solution, even if the problem or issue can look simple from the beginning. And it's often like a misleading simplicity because we are working on such large scale and this is not should not only work for yourself, for your in environment, but for all other environments. And it uh, makes things quite complicated, even if they uh, like look like piece of cake. So different ways to contribute. You, everyone can test current development version, alpha, beta, or release candidate, and you don't need to have development installation for this. You can uh, install these versions uh, with beta tester plugin. And uh, after you install this uh, beta tester plugin on your WordPress version, don't do it on production on your live sites, do it on local environment. Still, if you install this plugin, you can choose what version do you want, night builds, uh, betas, release candidates, etc. And you can poke around and test. Because we have a lot of changes, especially with uh, Gutenberg and editor, uh, there are a lot of bugs to be fixed. So there are exploring opportunities for everyone. And you don't need to be a developer to do this, to check if buttons are working correctly, if you have right behavior from elements, etc. It's even, users are even better in this because developers are used to complications. So they, they can overlook them easily. So, and if you stumble across this, uh, something you think it's a bug, you can create a ticket to fix it. It's also a contribution. You find something and you are providing ability for someone else to fix it. But of course, if you are a developer, you can fix uh, this bug yourself and make it like quicker. Uh, and uh, when I was uh, started to work with track, I noted that a lot of people are doing this this uh, the same thing. They are reporting the bug and uh, up, um, proposing patch at the same time because uh, it's, of course, they just want it, but it makes sense because people spend some time to investigate what is happening, why it's happening. So they uh, had like a half of the solution already and it's uh, easier and quicker for them to make a patch then for someone else who will be browsing and looking through the content of ticket and description and trying to figure out what had happened. And you also can propose an idea, some improvement, enhancement, future request. If you think that something should be done, you can browse tickets and see if um, there is the same idea already and contribute to it on. And if there is none, you can create your own ticket. But the description, of course, uh, should be good. And uh, from this, um, it's um, like meta because if description is good, it's uh, more likely that someone will understand uh, what it's all about and starting to work on this. This is also uh, what uh, you can do, this is called triage. We, uh, in triage sessions, we are looking through tickets and uh, check if there is a, a correct component, correct keywords, correct fo uh, contributor focus applied, if description is good, if this ticket needs screenshots or uh, this ticket needs uh, involvement from design, design team, etc. So uh, this also uh, a way to contribute for people uh, who are not 
developers. For example, if someone is reporting that some elements are going outside of some other element and they don't should not to do it and there is no screenshots sometimes it's very difficult to understand what had happened and uh, you can make screenshots and attach them to tickets or uh, actually make a small video and sometimes people are attaching screenshots from their some other external source and uh, later they are removing these screenshots and it uh, it isn't clear anymore uh, what had happened so someone needs to go and restore and check if uh, this uh, issue is still happening and if it's happening and if uh, this actually happening how it's described sometimes uh, people are describing things very vague so clarifying checking triaging things is also a big part of this job of moving tickets forward. This is what I'm doing for 6.3 and 6.4 releases, but I'm not alone. And uh, I hope to assemble some team to work on this because uh, it's like a big job and you need sometimes to push uh, things forward, to ping people, to ask people, uh, to um, make some additional investigations uh, to ask a regional reporter uh, for additional information etc so uh, this is like managing stuff and someone should do it and of course you can test patches uh, we had a session about testing before this budget so i will not go deep in testing you can also review code uh, because of course, um, all developers love their code and we think that it's perfect, but it's not actually true because uh, most of the times uh, there can be improvement even if code is working correctly. And because we are working on such large scale, we should be very careful what we are writing, how we are writing, how we are checking and make like, like a doctor not to uh, work something which is already working we need to be very careful and uh, if uh, even some simple things are um, changes for some simple things they can be very tricky so you can review other people's code and validate how it's working and uh, what uh, can be done further it's also uh, worth to have like second third pair of eyes uh, and additional brains to work on the ticket you can also of course write patches yourself and update someone else's patches because if ticket has a patch it uh, you don't need to drop it immediately because uh, most of the times ticket need additional work patch need additional work and sometimes uh, people who made the patch uh, they don't have capacity to work further and someone need to pick up uh, this work it's good opportunity also learning opportunity uh, for developers not to create patch from scratch but improve already uh, something which already exists You can also write unit tests and end to end tests. We, I think we have like a huge demand on this too, because unit tests, if you are not um, writing them like on daily basis, it can be like a bit tricky. You need to use to uh, write them, but it's also a big learning opportunity because after you're starting to um, write unit tests, you will have. Uh, some shift in your um, thinking about how to structure code and you will be better structuring your code your own code when you are like have your main job or some other projects and it will benefit your abilities to make code which is good structured which is simple uh, in understanding etc so it's worth doing 
and you can actually cover your own projects with unit tests and uh, stop manually checking things. And end-to-end -end tests is also like a big deal because um, it's uh, quite tricky. It, it's, it's simple and tricky at the same time because we don't have like a lot of people who can do them and we need to move these things forward. And you can take part in a new de uh, default gem development because the next version 6.4 will have a new default theme. theme and uh, this is also a great opportunity to learn how these things should be done in the first place, to take part, to test, to debug, to improve things, because it's like a huge amount of work. And when such things are happening, uh, you cannot do this alone. And uh, there can be a lot of complications bugs etc so a lot of uh, work is there if you have no idea what to do you can join uh, team theme development and of course you can review and write docs there are docs inside code uh, we, uh, this is uh, function descriptions etc uh, but uh, um, most of uh, what we are considering docs is uh, actually documentation on uh, wordpress.org and because things are ch uh, ch changing continuously with core someone should go and check them and uh, make updates in in users documentation it's also um, a big job and uh, sometimes you don't need to be a developer Some, sometimes you need to be a developer to understand things deeply so let's talk right now about Cortex. Track um, is our control center for working with tickets. And we have uh, like a lot of pre-built reports like latest tickets, active tickets. If you are logged in, you can have tickets you are watching, etc. Uh, pay attention that uh, if you are watching tickets, you are not receiving notifications. You can um, subscribe to not notifications um, here, but um, somehow you don't have uh, notifications about tickets you are watching. So you need to pay attention for this. But if you are participated in Ticket, you will have notifications, but you can uh, unsubscribe to them if you don't want to participate in some Ticket anymore. So you have these like abilities. What I like most uh, is design your own query because you have like a lot of options to choose from. Most useful is keywords. Of course, these keywords are useful because uh, we are triaging tickets and putting these right keywords in this first place. You can also choose component. Component, uh, we have like, I don't know, 20 more components. For example, I'm a maintainer for about and help component and bulk editing. So bulk quick editing. So. Uh, if I will like be looking for tickets in these components, I will choose this component and look through these tickets. You also can choose milestone, uh, why it's important. If you want to work on something which is like most likely to be in the next release, you can choose milestone 6.4 and uh, have a look at these tickets because a lot of tickets need uh, work. Uh, if these tickets are in the milestone, it, it doesn't mean that they like done. No, <laughs> if they are not closed, they are not done. And there's some work needs to be done still. So if you want your name in credits page, your badge in your profile, 
you definitely need to pick um, a look in the uh, 6.4 milestone and uh, work on these tickets because they are already someone else decided already that this uh, tickets should be in this version of course if you think that some other ticket should be in this milestone too you can raise this question for example you can pin component maintainer or you can go to a regular wordpress meeting uh, core team meetings and raise this question like uh, if you think that something should be done you can go and do it you can push things forward and you don't need to be a developer to this either and let's talk a bit about local environment i believe we will have another uh, session purely about actually developing patch but right now i want just like to have a quick peek First of all, you need to fork WordPress development repository into your own like, account. So you have WordPress develop and you can fork it. Like you see, there is a like 2,000 mm, forks already and you can make your own. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of disadvantage if you like have your Git repository already full with um, stuff you need to clear space for this one but it's worth doing and then you need to install some things it can like take time but it's not difficult it just needs to be done git nvm it, this is not version management i think Something. The key point is that uh, you need to switch between node versions because WordPress needs 14th version of node and for other, for example, products you have, you can uh, possibly need another versions. So to be able to switch between versions, you need this NVM and then you need Docker and uh, uh, then you can follow the instruction, clone this fork to your local machine and install. Everything should be fine. You need to update this fork and pull updates uh, to your local machine. There are some things, I think, uh, Git actions which can automate this, but I didn't bother to investigate this possibly some people have an answer how to make it automatically but i'm just like pushing buttons a bit and if you have questions or difficulties please join the next new core contributor chat which will take place next wednesday at 7 p.m utc the full uh, schedule of regular meetings are present by the by this link so I want to uh, discuss a bit how we are actually working together. Firstly, you can contribute to any ticket you like. There is an owner of the ticket, but it doesn't mean that this person is on this ticket. It means that this person should look um, for this ticket to move forward. But sometimes it's working, sometimes uh, these people already have a lot of tickets on them and they cannot look through all of them. So if you, for example, done something like a patch and it looks like no one is bothering about it, you can ping owner of this ticket if this ticket has an owner. If this ticket has not no owner, you can ping, ping this maintain, uh, maintainer of this component. And of course, if uh, some uh, some components don't have maintainers, and if ticket has no, no no maintainer, no owner, you can go to regular meeting and ask questions about this ticket as well. So if you want something to be done, you need to ask about this because uh, we have a lot of tickets, more than 8,000 and uh, some things can be easily overlooked and this is why we need to trash them continuously this is also a sign that we are evolving continuously and we can achieve like great things if we can push some 
things forward. And if your court is not working, it's also a step forward because you investigate something, it has some kind of complications or side effects. And this is already getting clear what needs to be done. So it's also worth doing. If your mm, idea didn't work out, you can also write about this on the ticket that I tried this, it's not working because Keep in mind possible side effects. Don't change double equal to triple equal. It can be like really disaster because it can have a lot of regression side effects and you will be going around around uh, fixing other things. So even if it looks very simple, it's a very tough job to do. And if you have doubts, ask questions. If, for example, you think that you should, you want to work on some ticket, but something isn't clear, or this ticket uh, needs to, like, uh, to have a lot of work to be done, you can go to regular meeting or just pop up in a court chat and ask about this ticket. Before you, like, put up so much work on this, you can actually check if it's worth doing, if, uh, it, um, this ticket is clear and uh, something like this. Don't pour your heart in one ticket. Don't attach yourself to one big, nice piece of work you've done. Because sometimes things are getting complicated and you can be like very frustrated. So don't attach yourself to your code. It's not your baby. You need to like learn and move forward and uh, be okay that there is no things which are perfect. We have 8,000 tickets. It's clear sign that it's not perfect, but we are going to right direction. It's, it's, this is a key point. And uh, what I've told you already that if you think that things should be done, but it's not going anywhere, pin people. Yeah, sometimes when you are the person who is pinged. But I'm a companion maintainer, so I took this voluntarily, so I know what I'm doing, what I signed for. So if uh, someone wants to work on some ticket and will ping me, I will be glad to help because I'm there for this reason, to push things forward. Uh, thank you for your attention. And if you are watching this uh, video, you can join our contributor mentorship channel. And if you are not in WordPress Slack, you can join Slack first. And there is an instruction how to do this.